Hi and welcome to the fifth part of our 10 part series on how to use your camera. My name's Matt and I'm going to be showing you all of your camera's key settings so that you can start taking great pictures. Today we're going to be looking at your camera's metering modes. Mastering these is pretty straightforward and it will ensure that you get the right exposure for your chosen subject. When your camera meters are seen, it analyzes all the different areas to understand how best to expose the image and which settings to use. A good exposure should ensure that all the important areas in the scene show their details and that there are no very dark shadows or very bright highlights where you would expect there to be detail. Your camera will typically offer three metering patterns. These are designed to prioritize certain areas so that your camera produces the best exposure for your chosen subject. Evaluative, matrix or multi-pattern metering is the default option. This goes by different names depending on the manufacturer of your camera, but the principle of each is the same. The whole scene is taken into account and the camera attempts to balance the exposure for all the elements. It's fine to leave your camera set to this for general shooting. The second option is known as centre weighted. As its name suggests, this prioritises the centre of the frame, but it also takes into account the surrounding areas. This option is useful when your subject is lit in a different way to the background, as otherwise your camera may be swayed into over or under exposure. This is a popular option for portraiture. Finally, we have the spot metering option. This bases the exposure on a very small proportion of the frame, so it's great when either your subject does not occupy much of it, or when it's different to its surroundings. Spot metering is useful when capturing flowers and insects, although it can also find itself useful when the subject is further away. Some cameras also offer a fourth option known as partial. This works in a similar way to spot, although it uses a larger area on which to base a measurement. This is useful when you don't want the camera to take the areas around the subject into consideration. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Next time we'll be looking at your camera's ISO setting. For more tips and advice, visit us on Facebook, Twitter or Google Plus, or check out wexphotographic.com forward slash blog.